Shops, vehicles and houses have been raised in Moshing, a densely populated area of Lagos, Nigeria's economic capital, in what is believed to be an arson. Witnesses accuse cultists of being behind the attack, as Plus TV Africa's Messi Ebeko reports. It's a sad day on Akimbo Day, Tinola Street of Mushi, a Lagos suburb. Vehicles were vandalized a day before. Houses were boggled and shops razed by fire. This caused agony and a slowdown in activities in the usually bustling community. Eyewitnesses explained what happened. We just look at our shop run away. Before we come back this morning, they don't burn everything. No. I just buy a new generator. Four freezer, four this this freezer there inside. I market freezer and now yes, I just go buy market. A drum of kerosene. See the drum here. Yeah. They throw away the drum and they pour the kerosene inside gutter and they put fire inside the shop. We don't know them, oh. we don't follow them fight. Oh. Some members of the community are unsure of who the attackers are, but all disappointing to an undisclosed cult group. We heard that these cult boys, they were fighting themselves again, two factions anyway. They came all the way from Shilon Street, they crossed the railway line down to Tinola, down to Akibode, down to Olateju. And it happened around after 11 yesterday. Now, the problem is that all these boys are caught. They are caught. They are not our community there. Then where are they living? We don't know. They will just come from this side and this side. They will come. Just fight. Destroy this side, destroy this side. And we don't know them. Police officers have been here for an on-spot assessment and investigation and an official of the National Emergency Management Agency. Nema says nobody was killed. We are so sure that a lot of about 20 vehicles was burnt. But so far so good. We are trying to ascertain the number of casualties on ground. But uh, for now we can't say now because there's no loss of life anyway. Now, what is supposed to be like a beautiful morning for members of the Tinuola community as well as the Akimbode community turns out to be a very, very sad one. As we have been able to gather, it's been reported that there's a clash that happened between an unidentified groups which resulted to the vandalization of vehicles, destructions of properties, amongst others. However, no life has been recorded to have been lost. Messi for Plus TV Africa. Well, joining us on the news tonight is the editor-in-chief of Nigeria Security Digest, Chidi Omeje. Hello, Mr. Omeje. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for having me. Glad you could join us. Um, what do you make of people suddenly seeing armed youth destroy their homes, shops, and cars? Pardon? I, I can't get you clear yet. Yeah, how do you make, you know, what do you make of the situation where people suddenly wake up in the morning and find their houses, their vehicles, their shops destroyed by armed youths? How oh, did it okay. hit you Thank when you. you heard it? Yeah, yeah I mean, these are, these are signs of, a, you know, a very distressed society. Um, every nook and cranny of this country, you, you, you hear on daily basis, tackling stories of, you know, crimes and criminalities that uh, you begin to wonder if uh, anybody is actually in charge. Um, you, you know, if you really want to uh, go to the, uh, the root of all this, you, you will find that they are, uh, you know, bad governance and uh, injustice and um, a manner of things that uh, are very society. You see, um, as long as you have these thoughts of unemployed youth, hungry folks, organized society, you are, you are bound to see this happen on daily basis. Um, Lagos is lucky that they're just battling with, uh, you know, youngsters and cultists and all that. So what about uh, areas that are uh, comforted with, um, you know, hardcore terrorism and insurgency and budgetary? This is what we're going through in the country. Um, I, I think it calls for leadership. It, has, it calls for um, concerted efforts on part of everybody in this country to see how we can rein it on on, on people who are who, who really want to take law into their hands or who have lost it, or who have no regard to law and order. Okay, from uh, that no report, society, from no. that report by Mercy, um, some of the residents who were interviewed blame it on cultists. How deep do you think cultism is in Nigeria today? You're talking about cultism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cultism is now um, 
a very popular phenomenon in this country. Um, from the university campuses to secondary schools to streets, to you know, to even religious uh, organizations, you see people having uh, you know uh, some kind of cult, cultism uh, that are running that society. So it's um, it's, it's, it's really it's a post you know a society that is like I said earlier that is stressed. You know, you see people trying to find a way to you know to ventilate. In crime, but live in, in, in all manner of ways that we find astounding. Um, courtism as a phenomenon has come to stay in this country because we've not been able to you know, think on it. We've not been able to see the danger in it. You know, you you, you want to dance around it, you want to you know, romanticize the the, 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 the the concept of courtism, probably because the guys who brought that that, that phenomenon are our darling. You know, so people who we cannot scratch. But of course, you, you and I know that this courtism uh, is a cancer in our society. We, uh, our kids are being destroyed on daily basis because of this uh, this kind of lifestyle. How courtism can how do you stopped. how do you propose security agencies and the communities check courtism and this kind of incidences which you've seen? Yeah, the only way you can check it is through in intel, through intelligence. Um, you have to find, people have to say, say something when they see something. We have to dissuade pe uh, people from that kind of thing. And of course, don't forget that family unit uh, plays even a much more, more effective role in, uh, you know, uh, get, getting people to understand that there are certain lifestyles that are not, you know, acceptable. Uh, religious organizations, uh, churches, and mosques should be able to devote more, more time to tell, to, to remind our, our our youngsters that courtism is not the way to go. Courtism destroys, destroys the individual, destroys society. There's no future in courtism, and we have to find a way to stamp it out in our society because it's, it's not it's not complementary at all. It's destructive. Do you yeah. find it instructive that? This whole thing happened throughout the night. Nobody was apprehended. Nothing. It just happened, and they woke up and found it. Meaning, the whole place was totally very, very um, vulnerable and unprotected in exactly. in oh, any way exactly. possible. In it's every amazing. way possible. It's amazing because uh, it, it, it does appear that our security agencies. Uh, uh, giving up, they are almost. I don't know whether they are um, overstretched to the point that uh, stuff like that are happening overnight, and the, nobody was able to come out to stop them. And you have probably, and you have the, the army, you have the police, you have the civil defense, you have the the, 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 the secret, uh, secret police, and all manner of stuff. And and and, uh, and such people had time and um, space to operate and do all they had done, and and, and, and they were not stopped. Oh, look, this is, a, this is no society. No society, you know, grows in such manner. So somebody should be, should be should be questioned. We have the police commissioner in that state. That police commissioner should be able to tell us exactly where his men were when things are like that are happening. Okay, we can't just uh, you know you know every day we keep uh, closing our eyes and allow them to do whatever they want to do. At the end of the day, they, they will pay them salary. So they have to they have to they have to work for us. That's why they, that's why we hire them and train them and equip them. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Chidi Omeje, Editor-in-Chief, Nigeria Security Digest. Thank you so much for your time and insight. Thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.